So recently, Maiwa Denki, who created the automaton, tweeted out that there are actually bootleg automatons being sold in China. And oh god, are they terrifying. <laughs> They have three versions available. They have a pig, which is cute, I guess, an elk, which dear god, and then a blue whale slash shark. They've marketed it as both because why not? Now, if you look online for these products, there's not a lot of information about them because they're sketchy as all hell. Half of the listing is written in broken English. They're clearly trying to pass this off as an automaton clone yet they offer no video proof of how it works and if it works. So I looked around further thinking there's got to be a product video for this automaton that they're selling. And lo and behold, there is. Now I want you to watch and listen to this video very carefully. And note, this is the only video they are using to market their product. <laughs> Spoiler alert, the audio is from one of my automaton covers. And don't get me wrong, this is not a case of them just covering a song I have already covered. No, they straight up ripped the audio from my video and passed it off as their own and used it to market their terrible, crappy product. And if you're thinking, Sully, I don't remember ever seeing that song on your channel. I actually made that cover exclusively for Cubeworks, the people who manufacture the automaton. They kindly asked about two years ago that I cover this specific song, and they've been very kind to me over the years, so I thought, what the heck, I'll give them a free automaton cover. So how this audio made its way into this bootleg product, I have no clue. So I sent that link to my Discord, we all had a good laugh. But then I got to thinking, I should buy one of these. Now, I would not advise anyone to buy one of these bootleg automatons. It is a crappy company ripping off a great product, and I don't think they deserve a cent more than I'm going to pay them. But at the same time, someone's got to do the research. Now, the website they were being sold on, Taobao, Taobao, is a China exclusive website. I could not sign up for the service, and trust me, I tried. So that means I had to go through a third party company that would purchase the products for me and then ship it from China to the United States. Which, you know, not a big deal. I've done it before, we can make this work. But then the third party company drops this knowledge on me. A low value amount of orders from China is not cost effective as the shipping prices for the first 500 grams for all shipping companies for any country are higher than the next 500 grams. So to benefit from the order, we require our customers have a $100 minimum amount before the purchase can proceed. So whereas I wanted one bootleg automaton for my collection, they were saying I had to buy at least six in order to be eligible for shipping to the United States. And coming in at like $20 a piece, they're not cheap. So like, why would I spend that much money on bootleg automatons when I could invest that same amount of money in... Welcome back to Sully Makes Poor Financial Decisions. Straight from Hong Kong, from which shipping cost me over $100. Now the packaging says quantity of five when I actually ordered six. I'm gonna be pissed if there are only five here. This is very exciting, but I'm gonna be really critical of them because they're ripping off a product I love and using my music. Oh, I love it. It's, it's all in Chinese. <laughs> it is the electronic music Urhu Blue Whale, Dream Edition. How the hell did Dream get his own automaton before I did? Very helpful instructions, including play nice songs. Don't tell me what to do. This is quite a bit heftier than a normal automaton. It has a thicker stem both in the front and on the sides. It also has numbering on the side, which I guess is helpful for hand placement. The latex on this thing is very weird, it has a weird texture. Oh, there are bumps too on the bottom of it. Look at the stupid little fins on the side. And there's eye! <laughs> ah, it's funny! I didn't even see the eyes, that's... that's stupid. Now this did not come with batteries, so I should probably go get some batteries. A few moments later... Dude, the screw wouldn't come loose, so I just had to pry it off. Oh, there are batteries in here. Does that mean it's broken? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bootleg automaton one doesn't work. Go figure. Maybe we'll be lucky with the next one. Ooh, this one's the elk. This one kind of looks cute at first until you remember it has teeth, so n no. Everyone place your bets in the comment. Will this one work or will it also be broken? This one, the volume was already left on while still in the packaging. Great sign. This thing won't work. I'll pry it open again if I have to. Oh my God, it's wet. Why is it wet? Oh my god, I think the batteries are leaking. You cannot make this up. Two batteries, they're soaking wet, and they're corroded. I have nothing good to say about this product so far. The first one didn't work, the second one was leaking batter- Dear, what's falling out of this thing? These things are so poorly constructed, it's unbelievable. Now ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. Does it sound like an automaton? <coughs> Sounds like an automaton.
Whoa, it, hold on. It doesn't even have a full octave range, are you kidding? I mean, I guess it's a little easier to play with the thicker stem, but dear god, there's like no range on this thing. And the teeth on it are just a sticker, are you kidding me? Look at this, they couldn't even afford to put a back on this tail thing, right? Business in the front, budget cuts on the back. <laughs> How low can you go? Not very low. How high can you go? Eh. All right, so if that worked with new batteries, then I guess I should try new batteries on this guy. If I can get it back open, which is questionable at this point. Nope, this one just straight up doesn't work. What garbage. Another elk. Okay, this one doesn't have the batteries inside of it yet, so I guess that's a good sign. Two more of the whales. That's right. So we should be have one more elk. Oh my god. No wonder. I couldn't open these because they come with their own screwdriver. What on earth is that? Why on earth would you make a product that needs its own special screwdriver to function? Well, since we have our own screwdriver now, I guess we can try one of the other blue whales. I take it back, even their screwdriver doesn't work. I cannot believe their own screwdriver does not work on their own product. All right, so their product doesn't work and the screwdriver doesn't work. Will their batteries work? Doubtful. All right, whale number two. Hey! What? Hold on. This has a completely different scale. That's like two notes. Get out of here. Listen. How is that considered a playable range? You, you couldn't even play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on this thing. All right, see the second note's already out of its range. I mean, I like the little whale tail, but I mean, that's about it. Otherwise, this product sucks. This is by far the stupidest thing I've bought for my channel so far. It's a terrible product, crappily made, rips off the automaton, and uses my work to promote their product in a way that is not representative of it. So no, this does not get my stamp of approval. This will not be appearing in future videos. It's a terrible product and you shouldn't buy it. If you want an automaton, just buy an automaton. And now I have six of these things. I don't want them. Here, take them. I'll pay you to take them. My final review. Don't buy it. It's stupid. It's terribly made. I hate it. They ripped off my music. Give me my money back. All right, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you like this content and are interested in seeing more, go subscribe to my other channel, Sully, where I post non-automaton stuff. I know, crazy, right? Thank you guys so much for your support. No thank you to the person who sold me those automatons. But as always, be kind to one another. Stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.